Well, let's see what kind of news items we have tonight. When you're trying to get away, it's hard to see what's wrong without thinking that there's something wrong. In all the many ways that they, that humanity describes trying to do something out of the ordinary, or if they're ordinary people, they think they're doing something that's pretty ordinary, but kind of super pretty ordinary. Like getting educated, getting rich, getting famous. But uh, as we've talked several times, I think it's fair to, in a way, describe it as people try to get away. They might say they're trying to get to something. Uh, the cruder believe that they're trying to get to a higher state of spiritual development, a higher state of consciousness, or at worst comes to worst, that they're hoping to get somewhere after they <clears throat> die. So we all got to do is turn it just a little bit, and this is not being unfair to humanity, that people are trying to get away. That's just another way of saying that they're trying to get somewhere. And we could get ordinary minds. You can play the part, I'm sure, most of you. Fake it. In fact, you're just an ordinary, intelligent, reasonable person. And you can go along with the fact that people are trying to get away. You can take it a little bit higher than you're trying to get away from being overcome by the cellulite gods or demons or from drinking or from bad news or from you know age. Take it on a little bit higher plane that you're trying to get away from ordinary thinking, from ordinary feeling, from just being a damned old cow in a herd, all right? So, back to the news idiom, which it seems that someone has to try and translate and make some sense out of. When you're trying to get away, it's hard to see what's wrong without thinking that there's something wrong. All right, so if everyone is trying that, that's good and alive intellectually, that their nervous system is stimulated sufficiently that in some way it's not necessary because you could some of you be teenagers but assuming that you have reached the first stage of maturity that your body's mature then it normally happens that some of your hormones above and below the line of ordinary consciousness they send words back and forth that they get sort of relieved that is I'm getting so grown and old now and you could nowadays be 21 years old or less that the whole system thinks, well, thank God, I don't have to put up with any more real effort. <laughs> Coast from here on. I'm married or you know, seem like I'm married. Nothing else to do. I got a job. I'm going to be stuck here. I'm not going back to school. I'm not even going to get a better job. So this is it. You know, it's like falling down. If you don't have a toboggan to go downhill, it's like, well, I'll fall down on my wife or husband and I'll just slide down this hill forever, <laughs> you know, right into the grave. Right into glory, I think, they, <laughs> to better times. <laughs> At any rate, if you're trying to get away on a little higher level, let's say, that you are not absolutely intellectually dead and that you do keep wanting to scratch somewhere that no one can seem to tell you exactly where it is, you can't seem to find it. So you're trying, let's continue with this news item since I've pull it off the wire there that says if you're trying to get away, if you're trying to get away, it's hard to see what's wrong without thinking that there's something wrong. The tricky part in this translation of the news item, if you're trying to get away, it's hard to see what's wrong. See, there is the real captious part because at any ordinary level, without picking on anybody, you have got to think that something is wrong with where you are to try to get anywhere. Now, you don't have to be religious, but there's the old easy aspect of it that in some way you have fallen into the grips of Lucifer or bad news or the IRS or some, some other kind of bureaucratic or otherwise demon, and you're trying to get away. But you would not be trying to go anywhere individually, or humanity wouldn't be trying to, unless they thought that there was a better land somewhere, that there is some other promised land or a new garden somewhere, that things have got to be better somewhere out there. If you're ordinary, of course, it seems to be sequential. It's somewhere up the road. So on that basis, you have got to feel as though there's something wrong with where you are. Now, any ordinary person, to say the least, would say, well, life is not perfect. And obviously where we stand right now, there's something wrong. The neighborhood in which I live, literally and allegorically. 
is not heaven on earth. So there is something wrong. Part of the built-in safeguard, again, is that if you get to the individual level of a person trying to think, not just the collective, not just civilization, not just what the news items sometimes refer to as the city or the herd, they all think they have to collectively. And, of course, the individuals, as long as you're wired up to the herd, you're going to think what they think, pro or con, but you're still ordering, you're eating off their menu. Whether you say, I want something out of column A, no, I changed my mind. I'm too mature now, I'm going to column B. You're still ordering off their menus. So the herd still, whatever it is thinking as it moves, is what you're thinking, one way or the other. So the herd always has to think. You've got to understand that collectively, the collective intelligence of humanity, the organism of life, has got to think that there is something wrong, whether it be moral, Realistically speaking, politically, economically, it doesn't matter. They'll come up with something. They've got to feel that where they are now that there is something wrong or they would not be trying to get away, trying to move. But the tricky part is then if you're an individual in this herd, which you're born into it, but if you're actually trying to free your mind for something new, you've got to get past the point of there being something wrong. Because when it gets to the operational level to a in, to an independent-minded person, there is nothing wrong. Which is, of course, so obscene, so patently absurd that you certainly can't teach it, you certainly can't preach it, you certainly can't make somebody see it. Because we've already established, I just got to admitting, from any kind of collective level, any kind of intelligent level, there is something wrong. And if we started saying, if we threw up on the floor, well, let's all say what's wrong with society right now, with life right now. You know, Jesus, it sounded like the Tower of Babel. Everybody at Hollywood, and you just start. You know, everything from traffic to taxes to, you know, entertainment, television, God knows, you know, air travel, clothing. How much more do I have to do? Got a dictionary or an encyclopedia and just start going through and almost everything except verbs, and some of them will fit in, or adjectives. And all of it, there'll be some problem, just pick out something. Even though if you got into air traffic in an encyclopedia, you'd think, well, God, it's great to have air traffic and be able to get down to the beach on the weekend without having to drive. And somebody would say, yeah, but have you driven out to the airport late? And you say, well, yeah, there is that, Jesus. It takes not as long to drive. It. In other words, anything about life, even if superficially, if it seems like it's all right, there's something wrong with it. If there wasn't anything wrong with it, we wouldn't be to stay on that example, building new airports and et cetera. So by any reasonable mean, definition, and description, you have got to admit, and we're all admitting, that there is something wrong collectively. The safeguard I was trying to get you to see is that individually, it absolutely defies any reason as it should. But if you think that there's something wrong with life individually, you are. You might as well hold up your hoof and pledge allegiance. <laughs> because you, you is once a cow, twice a cow, forever a cow, and you might as well take you know, the cattle oaths and be an honest little cloven hoof girl, a boy cow scout. Because you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Even though this, I assume, is... Uh, a non-clerical news, it hits religion, to pick out one example again, the most common. The beauty again is, religion is based on the fact that things are not right. From all, and you know, whatever religion you pick out, that in some way man is not right. And so understand that you can't go anywhere with that as long as you accept that. In other words, if you tried your best to be a blank, fill it in, Buddhist, Jew, Christian. If you tried your best, and the only way to do it is to go by their teaching, whatever it is. And I'm not questioning it. But if you go by it, you can't do what it says. Because if you think there's something wrong, you're part of the herd. Or from their viewpoint, say from a religious viewpoint, you are non-religious. Because in a sense, they would be saying, if they listen to this, they'd be saying, well, you're denying the fact that man in some way is sinful, missed the mark, is less than what he should be, etc. You're saying man's perfect. <coughs> which, of course, is all the polarized mind can deal with if you tried to say, well, there's really nothing wrong. You're trying to escape from something. You're trying to escape from a 
from Egypt. I didn't know I was an Old Testament scholar. Yeah. <clears throat> we're trying to escape from Egypt. The religious would say, if they were religious and allegorical, and they'd say, we're trying to escape from Egypt. That is a bad place. And you're saying there's nothing wrong with Egypt. But see, I didn't say that. And we're not talking about me. I'm just saying that the mind cannot deal with you saying, all right, there's nothing wrong. And if you think there's something wrong, that whole idea of getting away from something wrong is you can't get away from it until you see that there's nothing wrong. Well, it's prisons without bars. It's corrals without little cross pieces. It's pregnancy without the fun. But look, it's almost impossible because, uh, if you need one more example before I go to another item, it's almost impossible to sit here, or even stand here, and talk about it without making it sound like something's wrong. You could start off, and if you're, you're welcome to try it with your own head, to try and think, well, I'll read nothing but positive news items, or I'll, I'll make all the news items positive, because I just got through pointing out that there's nothing wrong with life from an individual view, and if you think so, you're not an individual. You can dress out of the ordinary, and you can have tattooed right here, I are an individual. But you might as well take the cows, because you're not. It is operationally limited to the way energy runs the brain, as long as you think from an individual view, not arguing the fact that your mother, your father, the institutions of life, the collective intelligence right now says, well, you know it's true, that, hey, life is not a picnic. Well, if it is, we're up to our armpits and ants and other kinds of unsavory creatures. Life is not perfect. Boy, talk about an insight. So something is wrong. Well, all right. I mean, the murder's going on. Somebody's breaking into our cars right now out in the parking lot. You call that right? I didn't call that right. Well, don't say that, life, that there's nothing wrong in life. If from an individual view you think something is wrong, you are now and forever part of the herd. But the beauty is, as long as you will still try and describe, well, all right, and some way I'll try to take some phony baloney, make-believe, positive attitude. I'll play like that Norman Vincent Peale has been reincarnated in my shorts, and I'll forever smile and say, life is just a bowl of something or other. <laughs> but as soon as you try that, and if you try to describe it to yourself, you'll end up sounding like a sawdust-encrusted preacher, because all you can do is end up saying, wait a minute, things are just not right. There is something wrong here. There are probably four or five rats died in my bedroom. I can smell it. Life is not right. The news item. Da -da -da -da. If you're trying to get away, it's hard to see what's wrong without thinking there's something wrong. The part I didn't hit with this item before we go on is it's hard to see what's wrong without thinking there's something wrong. Now besides the fact that I tried to point out that you can't if you think from an individual view that there is something wrong, that I in some way, so we're back to this place that I'm describing something that can't happen, but if it was an ordinary person that could think in an extraordinary way, individually, they would realize there is nothing wrong from the individual view. But since you can't do that, you can say forever that I'm an individual and you're not. But there is, here we go, something wrong, according to this news item, that is, it's hard to see what's wrong without thinking there's something wrong. But see, there's a difference between something being wrong and you thinking there's something being wrong. If you think there's something wrong, you're the wrongness. You're in it. You can't get away. Uh, the news item, I suggest, was put together to bounce these words and the concept back and forth because it could be described another way. But you understand it's, even though we've already established taking, translating the news item, since we don't have John Chancellor or some other important person here, I'm stuck with the job. If you're trying to get away, it's hard to see what's wrong without thinking there's something wrong. It's hard to see what's wrong. Well, there's something wrong. Except wrong, we could use another word. There is something that's got your foot nailed down. There's something that keeps the mind from thinking anything outside the same old song and dance, dancing the same stuff over and over until the cows come home, blind to the fact that the ballroom is a corral and you are being serenaded continually by an all-cow orchestra. 
It's hard to see what's wrong without thinking there's something wrong. If you think there's something wrong, you can't see what's wrong. As long as you think, I could be a better person, I could be smarter, I could be more intelligent if it were not for the crime in the streets. If I didn't have to worry so much that I'm about to be mugged, I could be walking around having poetic metaphysical thoughts. But hell, half the time I'm trying to look around, somebody's going to pick my pocket. That's not the wrong you've got to get away from. But as long as you say there's something wrong, then whatever it is that's wrong, which is simply you, and I don't mean in any moralistic sense, of course, it is that you thinking at the same old level and trying to get away, you're trying to rehabilitate that, which cannot be rehabilitated. You're trying to institute a 12-step self-help program for yourself. You know, if you could do that, you wouldn't need any help. <laughs> yeah, but I got to start somewhere. That's right. We already established that. Hold up your hooves again. <laughs> you started as a cow, you'll die as a cow. You're an honest cow, good burger cow, good middle-class cow. 